Hey YouTube, today we're gonna be opening up some Evolving Skies, finally. We're gonna go ahead and open up this ETB box from shinycardboard.com and then the special Pokemon Center ETB. I wanted to go ahead and open up both of them more or less at the same time and see exactly how do they fare against each other. But either way, I needed to go ahead and do the due diligence so we can go ahead and see exactly you know, is it worth it to actually try to get these Pokemon Center boxes or is it fine just getting the standard boxes that you would find at the store? But if this is your first time here, my name is Kirksico. We like to go and open up Pokemon cards. And if you haven't done so already, please consider liking and subscribing. It definitely helps out the channel a lot. And it lets me know that this is the kind of stuff that you're into. But without further ado, let's get into these boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the Pokemon Center version first and check out exactly what's inside of this. I'm assuming they're both gonna be pretty much the same except for like a few differences. So let's actually get into this, this beautiful box that y you shouldn't open. In all honesty, you shouldn't open the Pokemon Center boxes, but you know what, like maybe you do. Maybe, you, maybe you're crazy like me, like us, YouTube people who just open up stuff. And let's look at that slide right out. Even the player's guide uses pretty much the same art as the standard Elite Trainer box. Lots of cool stuff. This is a card that I do have in Japanese from EV Heroes. Uh, if you didn't see that, go ahead and check that out somewhere. If you'd like, we got the Umbreon with the toes. But this is the part that's the interesting part. Just looking to go ahead and see you know, all the set cards. There's Eevee Heroes cards, and I forget what the name of the other two sets were, but the Dragon sets. And as far as what I'd like to go ahead and pull, like absolutely Eevee cards, but also absolutely Noivern. If you haven't seen the card, go ahead and check out that card right there. It's the most Batman looking card that I've ever seen in my life. And there it is anyways. Copycat would be super cool. They got that Dragonite. I can go ahead and get an English version of this uh, Espeon because I already have the Japanese version. All right, but let's check it out. These are the damage counters. Very Halloween-esque for this box, kind of cool. These are the dividers, status counters. Now this is a neat one, this coin, this really big beefy coin. And these are the same ones from the box, it's very cool. And then this comes with an EV pin. And then for the box itself, this is the code card. And then these are the sleeves that it comes with. These are actually kind of nice the way that they look. And then we've got the pack of energies and maybe this is the time that I actually go ahead and use them. And then just like everyone else on YouTube, I too need to go ahead and count the number of packs because if you know, you know. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We got no extra packs in the mail that aren't really extra. All right, so let's get down to it. I'm not gonna go ahead and mess up the order. But I will take it as is. Noivern is what I'd like to go ahead and get. Umbreon would be very cool. Espeon cards would be very cool. Uh, there's just way too many cool cards and let's be about it. So here we go. First ever pack of Evolving Skies for the channel. Here's the code card. Three, four. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Steel. Okay, we got Lightning Energy. Lightning Energy, Hippodon, Braviary, Lucky Ice Pop, the Kirksicle card, Slackoth. I actually really like this particular Slackoth. It kind of reminds me of Green Hill Zone, specifically, you know, the Sonic level. Just kind of tint the color scheme and you're kind of right there, Slackoth. You're kind of right there. All right, so Slackoth, Petalil, Pikachu, <gasps> Pumpkaboo, oh heck yeah. I am super a fan of these cards that have this uh, clay style onto them. So let's see, Rufflet the Reverse, Pyroar, and then in the back we've got, whoa, 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 oh heck, first pack magic. You don't see it happen too often, but then it does. Oh heck yeah, that's nicely texturized. How do you like that? First pack. And from the Pokemon Center box, is this a sign? Is this a sign? Yeah, I'm not too sure about the centering. Unless my eyes are deceiving me, it kind of looks good. This card looks very clean. Like no whitening on the sides or anything. Wow. Here's the code card. Three, four. Let's go ahead and guess fire. We got that fighting energy. Ribbon badge, nice. 
Dragons, Zoilus, Zinnia's Resolve, that would be super nice to get. Cutie Fly, Hitmonchan, Lotad, Sableye. Oh, here I go skipping again. Teddy Ursa, the reverse, Rapid Strike, Scroll of the Flying Dragon. That's very nice. And then we got Gorgice in the back. Three, four, I'm gonna say Lightning, Psychic Energy. The Lucky Ice Pop, Kirksicle, Scrafty, the Snow Leaf Badge. I'm glad that I'm actually seeing these cards in English and just like not guessing. Because <laughs> wow. in Eevee Heroes, I was definitely guessing. Sort of. Mareep, Drowsy, very nice artwork. Scraggy, Phoebus, Hitmonchan, Rock and Roll as our reverse. And then in the back, we've got Gigalith doing the Kamehameha code card. Three, four. In darkness, we've got Leaf Energy. Leaf Energy, heard here. Whoa, single strike scroll of the Fang Dragon. Okay, there's a lot of scroll cards is what it seems like, and I think I'm kind of liking it. Just the way that they look, it, the, the way that it themes, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Floet, Mareep, Zorua, Tentacool, Hopip, Dino, or Dino, the Reverse Sharpedo, and that's a rare too, awesome. And then in the back we've got Seismitoad, Coat Card. Three, four, let's go ahead and guess fighting. We got Lightning Energy, Lightning Energy. So as far as Evolving Skies, how has your openings been going? I feel like just looking at social media, a lot of it has been going really well for a lot of people. Like, is that a lie? Or like, I don't know. How do you feel it's been going? We got Wobbuffet. Flapple as our reverse, and that looks really nice as a reverse. And then in the back, we've got Milotic, which came from Eevee Heroes. All right, we've got five packs left, and honestly, just with the one pull that we've gotten so far, I feel like uh, this has already been going pretty cool. If we could get Batman, though, that... Oh, it would be everything. That would be so awesome. Code card. Three, four. Water. Water energy. Uh, we got we got lightning again. Is this a sign? Stormy Mountains. Boldor. I feel like Zinnia's resolve is coming. That's what I'm feeling. Oh, we got Slack up in, in the Green Hill Zone. Gossip Floor. Love this. Wishy Washy as our reverse. And then in the back, we got Smeargle. Interesting. Now I heard that Smeargle, it's possible to actually make a good deck with it. And up to this point, I haven't really been playing the game at all. You know, just uh, the trading card game, like to actually play it. But I've kind of told myself for like quite some time, you know what, by the time Evolving Skies comes out, maybe this will be the time that I actually try to come up with a deck, because why not? It sounds like a lot of fun, does it not? A Sylveon card would also be super cool. There's that one card where it's like in the bakery, I think. It looks like it's making sweets or like, I, I don't know, eating sweets. What are you doing, Sylveon? What are you doing? You tell me, what are you doing? Code card. Three, four, let's guess. Grass, grass, nope. Fighting energy. Swoobat, ah, Swoobat, it's a sign. Digging gloves, also a sign. <laughs> Drowsy, Rag and Rolla, Flabebe, Psyduck. That's a very awesome Psyduck. We got the reverse as Love Disc, and in the back we've got Gorgais. Oh man, it feels like this box is not hitting anymore, and that's okay, I guess. So I'm not immediately aware right now, but I kind of feel like this is probably a set where there's a lot of Rayquazas, right? In which case, I at least got one of them. But how many more am I missing? Yeah, like how many are there? Code card. Three, four. This one's gonna be psychic. I feel it. We got darkness up in here. Skip loom, ice cube, elemental badge, tentacle, Dino, Marie, Wobbuffet, love disc. Nick it as a reverse. And in the back we've got pincer. Okay, that one hit me a little bit interesting just because I was like, wait a minute. I, I feel like I've seen pincer before, but aha. Uh -huh. Eevee Heroes, there you are again. Code card. Three, four. This one is going to be lightning. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh! <laughs> Lightning energy! Hippowden! We haven't been guessing the energy, not so much the Kirksicle pop. Cutie fly, Applin. That was real exciting. Nicket, Bergmite. What a name. Jump off. Does this exist as a holo? Because that would be super. And then in the back, we've got. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I will take it. I will absolutely take it. I feel like sometimes it's difficult to go ahead and get the rare, you know, that comes as a holo and its reverse counterpart. So. Very, very cool. I will take this hit. All right, and we're down to the final pack for the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. We still have one more Elite Trainer Box to go through, but if you keep in count as far as how the hits are on Pokemon Center Box versus not a Pokemon Center Box, well, this is the last pack for that. All right, there's the code card. Three, four, and I want to guess darkness. We've got the fighting energy. Digging Gloves, Stormy Mountains, Shellgun. I would like a little bit more Dragon, please. Cutie Fly, Applin, Pikachu, the Pumpkaboo, the Bagon, Bagel, Cryogonal as our reverse, and in the back we've got, whoa. <gasps> what? No. Are you kidding me? Ha. Oh, ha. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Last pack magic for the box. And like, it's interesting just because I recently saw a friend stream, I think it was a booster box, but they got this card. I didn't think I was gonna be getting this card right now too. I was looking at their opening. This is such a good card. Like, such a good card. Oh, uh, like, I, <laughs> the words, please speak, words. I had not looked at this card before, but literally Duraludon, like look at its expression. It's the most goofy thing. Like I didn't pay attention about this until like my friend pointed it out. Like we eaten and then Duraludon's like, what this, what this human, what this? Oh my gosh. Centering is not great on this, but like it's, this is okay. So I feel like I don't even have to open up the other box because like that was kind of amazing for what it was. I don't know. I feel like I'm not too accustomed to opening up any kind of Elite Trainer box where you get any sort of like awesome hits on it. You know, sometimes it doesn't happen and that's kind of what it's felt like. But anyways, that's the Pokemon Center box. Let's get into the standard ETB. Is it gonna be as fire? Are these pulls gonna be just as spicy or is it gonna have something left to be wanted? I, I forget how you say the thing. How, how do you say the thing? Leave it in the comments. All right, so I'm not gonna go ahead and spend too much time uh, looking at this. If there's anything different, I'll show you, but otherwise, like, let's get to packs. There's a code card for the box, the standard Elite Trainer box. All right, so the sleeves and uh, the dividers are a little bit different. There is no coin, no EV pin in this one. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the Pokemon Center box, I obviously got it from PokemonCenter.com. And as far as this standard box, I got it from ShinyCardboard.com, which has also been a good resource to go ahead and get cards, especially with all these pre-orders and stuff coming up. All right, so we're not gonna go ahead and mess around with the order here either. I kind of feel like it's just pointless because especially the way with the other box opening went. All right, so can we get first pack magic again? Can we get an Umbreon out of the Umbreon pack? That would be wild. Code card. Three, four. We've got lightning. We've got leaf energy. Shopping Center, Lanterns, very nice Lantern, Ursaring, Pikachu, Applin, Lillipop, Emolga, that's a nice one, Tentacool, Boldor is our reverse, and in the back we've got, oh no, oh, okay. <laughs> Still very cool, for a second I thought I was like, no, this art be looking too special, but oh heck yeah, we got the Duraludon VMAX, first pack magic again, ATBs, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, this would make a little bit more sense if I got them both from like Pokemon Center or something like that, but this is my expectation level now. First pack magic, last pack magic, it is the only way. 
And I will say that so far, these cards, they look really good, at least as far as the cut. Not specifically centering, but card cut quality. It's actually feeling really good, you know, in comparison to Chilling Rain. I think Battle Styles had some problems, but so far everything seems really good. Here's the code card. Three, four, fire. It's gotta be fire. It's mm, lightning. Why, why are you always lightning? Please tell me. Lightning, elemental, bad, shell gun. It's like so far I'm feeling pretty good about evolving skies. I mean, we're starting off super strong in general. You know, if you're trying to go ahead and like master set this or like, you know, come anywhere near close, we're doing not terrible. We got the reverse Smeargle and in the back, we got Drampa and you know, it looks like you go into the Shadow Realm if Crayola made the Shadow Realm code card. Three, four, you gotta be lightning. Okay, okay, I was becoming a little bit sus. Fighting Energy, Boldor, Skip, Loom, Fletchender, very nice. Woobat, Timple, Psyduck, that is such a nice Psyduck card. Out of all, pff, out of all Psyduck cards, but speaking of which, we got a very nice Eevee, the kind that they use in Eevee Heroes. Cutie Fly, the reverse is the Snow Leaf Badge, very nice. And then in the back, we've got Smeargle. <laughs> Uh code card. Three, four, this one's gotta be steel. Don't be lightning. Okay. Water. I'll accept it. Water. But so far this set is looking I don't know, it's like looking to be really cool. You know, from a lot of points, a lot of cool cards. Look at this Fletchling. I would I kinda wouldn't mind trying to draw it. I'm not the best artist, but Hey, sometimes you see cool stuff and you just want to draw the thing. Aroma Lady, and then in the back we've got Appleton. Code card. Three, four. <sighs> Lightning! We got Darkness. Uh, moon and Sun Badge. I don't like that it says Moon and Sun. I'm used to Sun and Moon. Huh? Pyroar. Vigoroth. I don't believe I've seen you at all today. Hitmonchan, Fletchling. But yeah, as far as this set goes, what card are you chasing? What's the one that you're most excited about? Y'all know that I'm after Noivern. We got Lantern, and then in the back we've got Entei. Okay, very cool. This is another good Entei card, and I kind of feel like, I feel like Entei just has good cards. Am I lying about that? Let me know what's your favorite Entei card in the comments. All right, and even though we're kind of like getting down to like the last few packs, for some reason this ETV feels like it lasted longer than the other one, but like, that can't be true. That can't be true. Code card. Three, four. All right, all right. I this one it has to be fire because these poles do be fire and we believe we believe in that we do be pulling fire that is the law lightning energy Zuelis skip loom Rayhan cutie fly hitmonchan please be a pull please be spicy be spicy None of this mildness, Tropius, and in the back we've got Flapple. Okay, that's that's okay though. That's okay. Code card three four. Oh, actually, this is the second to last pack. Oi, listen here. You are gonna be spicy because we've been good boys and we want the spicy spice. You're gonna be darkness. All right, we got fighting energy. Ursaring, Swoobath, Digging Gloves, that looks like it's, is that from Swoobath? I don't know, What? where did you come up with the concept for these gloves? Petlil, Bergmite, such a weird name, Drowsy, Scraggy, Bagon, the Bacon, the reverse is Crystal Cape, oh lord, I see something in the back, is it a standard V? Wow, wow, okay. <laughs> I'll absolutely take that. Yes, Gyarados V. It's actually such cool art. You know, it's just coming right out of the ocean, I think. Yeah, nice. I indeed would say that that was a spicy one. And it's got an attack that's called Get Angry. <laughs> I feel like that's a strange attack the more that I think about it. I mean, yeah, I can see Gyarados being as like an angry Pokemon, but like, why not get happy? We just want our Pokemon to be happy. 
All right, so this is the final pack. Are we gonna get some last pack magic for the standard Elite Trainer box? What's gonna happen? And if you haven't done so already and you enjoy this content, please make sure to go ahead and leave the like. It absolutely helps out with YouTube algorithms, stuff, science, math, all that jazz. And I would super appreciate it. Code card. Three, four, and for the last pack, you have to be fighting. I don't know how I know, but oh lord, fire, fire energy. Golduck, oh, I don't think I've seen Golduck today. We got the rubber gloves, copycat. Copycat would also be a very cool card just because if it's the same character from the anime, like that's Duplica and I don't know, I feel like they make good cards for Duplica or her, copycat. Eevee, the reverse is Mareep and in the back, hit, hit, not hit. Talonflame, it's not a hollow, but honestly, that actually looks really cool. Talonflame in a blaze of glory. What do you think about that? All right, so there you have it. What did you think about this opening? We opened up both the standard elite trainer box and the Pokemon Center elite trainer box, and oi, there was absolutely some spicy spiciness in here. But I'll go ahead and let you be the judge to go ahead and see if, you know, next time that a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box comes out, if this is something that you should be, you know, trying to go ahead and get, or do you think it's overrated? That's completely up to you. You spend your money however you want. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to go ahead and check out any of these other videos. But otherwise, next time, I'm probably going to go ahead and be opening up the other Elite Trainer Boxes. The one with the Espeon, Sylveon, Vaporeon, and Glaceon on the cover. But otherwise, I'll go ahead and see you in the next video, and you take care. Bye!